Hello and welcome back and everybody today I got a new deck tag here for you for one of my personal decks it's one of my favorites I just built it recently it's PNLR console of revival so it's a red and a white for a 2-3 human artificer it says thopters you control have haste and whenever you play a land from exile or cast a spell from exile create a 1-1 colorless thopter artifact creature token with flying so it's pretty obvious what we're doing here everything is right there on the commander you're gonna be casting stuff from exile and you're getting thopters off of it so we have some exile synergies and some artifact creature synergies that we're gonna go over here so the first thing you're going to need to do is going to be exiling cards from your library to get those thopters. So we have some standout cards here. First one's going to be Valkyrie Exploration. It's tuna red for an enchantment, has landfall. It says whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card for as long as it remains exiled. And it says at the beginning of your end step, if there are cards exiled with Valkyrie Exploration, put them into their owner's graveyard. Then Valkyrie Exploration deals that much damage to each opponent. So the point of that last ability is obviously you, you have to trigger this with landfall. So if you get a land off of the trigger it at least does something because you don't get to play two normally unless you have some other effects so you'll at least get the damage off of that i especially like this one and a couple of the other ones that i'm going to be talking about here because they are repeatable as opposed to the one shots i do have some of the instances of sorceries that that do the one shot thing but i i would much rather have ones that are repeatable such as urbrask heretic praetor three red red for four four phyrexian praetor with haste says at the beginning of your upkeep exile the top card of your library you may play it this turn at the beginning of each opponent upkeep the next time they would draw a card this turn instead they exile the top card of their library they may play it this turn so in classic Praetor fashion you know you get a buff off of this and your opponents get a debuff so notably you get your original card draw and an impulse draw and your opponents do not get their original draw only the impulse draw so this can really screw over some of your opponents so somebody that's playing an interaction deck a mono blue or something like that if they are exiling you know counter spells or whatever off the top that's not really going to do them a whole lot of good so this guy can stick around around and put in some insane work for you another great card we got here wild magic sorcerer three and a red for a four three orc shaman the first spell you cast from exile each turn has cascade and obviously cascade triggers our commander's ability which makes us thopters and cascade is always good because you get some free spells it's pretty nice next up we got lelia the blade reforged it is two and a red for a two two spirit warrior with haste it says whenever lelia the blade reforged attacks exile the top card of your library you may play that card this turn whenever you exile one or more cards from your library and or your graveyard put a plus one plus one counter on lelia so a couple things this for one works extremely well with cascade say you cascade five cards because you need to hit a non-land and it has to cost less so if you have lelia out and you cascade five cards obviously when that that fifth card comes in lelia is going to see each card that you have exiled and put five plus one plus one counters on lelia so it's insanely good with cascade unfortunately there's not that much support for cascade in boros but there is a couple cards that i do have in the deck and even if you don't have cascade out this is a great card with your commander and and another way we can get some thopters without using exile we got loyal apprentice one in a red for two one human artificer with haste has lieutenant at the beginning of combat on your turn if you control your commander create a one one colorless thopter artifact creature token with flying that token gains haste until end of turn so it's nice to have this guy out early so you don't have to rely on your exile to get some thopters going early you know you just get put this out put your commander out turn two turn three whatever and you start going to town with your thopters and on the opposite end of the spectrum we got apex of power seven red 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 so obviously late game card for sure it's a sorcery says exile the top seven cards of your library until end of turn you may cast spells from among them if this spell was cast from your hand add 10 mana of any one color so i've cast this actually a few times in this deck and it is always put in work you know even if you're getting say three lands off the top in addition to the other four you know non-land cards it's still really worth it you know you get 10 red or whatever it's next mostly red so you're probably going to choose red but say you get if you get no lands off of this it is just insane finisher material especially with some of the other buffs we could talk about later on we get seven thopters buff them up that's a lot of damage in the air especially with haste and next up we got invasion of kaldheim three and a red for a battle with four defense counters it says when invasion of kaldheim enters the battlefield exile all cards from your hand then draw that many cards until the end of your next turn you may play cards exiled this way so this one is fantastic in the deck you know similar to valakut awakening but instead of putting them on the bottom you're putting them into exile and you can cast them until your next turn and you can also use the backside it's not as good as you might think pyre of the world tree and enchantment discard a land card pyre of the world tree deals two damage to to any target whenever you discard a land card exile the top card of your library you may play that card this turn so it does have a few synergies with our deck you know if we are in the late game and we're drawing lands and we can't play them all you can discard them to do damage and then when you discard them you get more exile to get more thopters and the next category we've got some cards that's going to buff up our thopters to help us close out the game we've got Nayali sun's vanguard for two a red and a white three three human rebel attacking tokens you control have double strike whenever one or more tokens you control attack a player exile the top card of your library during any turn you 
you attack with a token, you may play that card. I'm pretty sure you also have to have Nayali out for that effect to stick because the cards themselves don't actually have that effect. So pair this up with some of our other cards that are buffing up the power of our Thopters. Giving them double strike is just insane value and both abilities are really, really good. You know, the second one also exiles the top card of your library, which means you just get more Thopters. And speaking of buffing up our creatures, we got Jorkadeen, the Prevailer, three red and white for a five for human warrior first strike, has Metalcraft, creatures you control get plus three plus oh, as long as you control three or more artifacts, which is like nine times out of 10, you're gonna have that because you know, you have your mana rocks, you're in Boros here and mana rocks, you have your artifact lands because you're an artifact matters deck, you know, you have your Thopters, it's almost always gonna be on. Got another creature buff here, we got Tempered Steel, one white white for an enchantment, artifact creatures you control get plus two plus two, just a nice little buff for our Thopters. And next up, we got Alibu Ancient Witness, three red and white for a four five golem other artifact creatures you control have haste doesn't really matter because our commander already does that for us and whenever one or more artifact creatures you control attack alibu ancient witness deals x damage to any target and you scry x where x is the number of tapped artifacts you control so notably you don't actually have to attack with your entire team to get this trigger you could just swing in with one thopter if you're going to actually end up dying you could just swing in with the one to get this trigger and you know this counts your artifact lands it counts your mana rocks counts your thopters counts all your artifacts so it's, it's pretty strong you're gonna be scrying a lot you would do a lot of damage it's pretty nice and last up in this category we got a classic boros staple Aurelia the war leader two red red white white six mana for a three four angel with flying vigilance and haste whenever Aurelia the war leader attacks for the first time each turn untap all creatures you control after this phase there's an additional combat phase so not much to say there throw this down get an additional combat phase and you can start killing people and then once we do have our army all lined up and ready to go we're gonna need to protect them with a few cards here we got your temple is under attack two in a white instant choose one creatures you control gain indestructible till end of turn or you and target opponent each draw two cards so most of the time you're gonna be using that first one you know you have your board of you know 10 or whatever thopters you're pretty much never gonna want to use that second ability unless you're already down to a board wipe or you don't have any thopters that you need to protect you know you can use that and then the the guy in third place if you're in fourth place you know the guy in third place you can help him out a little bit so it's not too bad a really good value card we've got anointed procession green and white enchantment if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control it creates twice that many of those tokens instead this doubles up all of our tokens really strong another really interesting card that you wouldn't exactly think of right away is mech titan course it's two mana for a two four vehicle has pay five mana and exile mech titan core and four other artifact creatures and or vehicles we control to create mech titan a legendary 10 10 construct artifact creature token with flying vigilance trample lifelink and haste that's all colors when that token leaves you return all cards exiled with mech titan core but you know you're pretty much always going to use your thopters so that will never come into, into play so notably this does get the buffs from some of your other guys like tempered steel to buff him up because he is also an artifact creature token and lifelink's always nice you know trample this could be a good finisher in the deck and for our ramp package we do have a few unique cards that are not in most decks we got ornithopter of paradise two mana for an o2 thopter flying tap add one mana of any color notably if this is out with your commander you can use its ability right away that's pretty nice and we have gold and iron mirror they both are two mana for a one one mirror artifact creature that tap for a red or a white respectively so later in the game if you do have your artifact creature buffs out and you don't really need the mana they can at least serve some other purpose and our last category we got here today is some of our notable hard draw effects first up we got thopter shop three mana for an artifact whenever one or more artifact creatures you control die draw a card and it triggers only once each turn we can also pay two and a white to tap it to create a thopter most of the time we're not going to use that but it is nice to have the option next up we got low shield clockwork scholar two and a white for a two four elephant artificer prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking artifact creatures you control super nice in a artifact creature deck you're pretty much going to be able to swing out whenever you want and not worry about the crackback and whenever one or more artifact creature tokens enter the battlefield under your control draw a card also it only triggers once each turn so both thopter shop and low shield have to deal with our artifact creatures coming in or leaving and we get to draw cards which is really nice and last but not least we got a new red staple that i'm putting into a lot of my decks we got into the fire for two and a red sorcery choose one into the fire deals two damage to each creature planeswalker and battle or put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library then draw them any cards plus one so again we're pretty much always going to be using that second ability to be drawing cards if we need them but it is nice to have the option to do a little mini board wipe for some of your opponent's tokens or something say you have your tempered steel out your thoughters are three threes you don't really have to worry about the board wipe hitting you so you're playing against that elf tribal deck you can wipe out their elves and your thoughters will still be good to go so that's the deck it's pretty straightforward you know you don't have to have too much innovation in this one i'm probably going to throw in a few extra cards that do the exile thing because it is a little hit or miss sometimes you're going to need a lot of exile cards in the deck to get it to function correctly so i think i need to probably throw in two or three extra ones just to get that consistency up there but it's super super fun to pilot you know i love having a two man 
Titanic Commander. It's really nice to get your strategy going really early. I love Boros. It's one of my favorite color combinations. So if you like the deck, you want to check it out for yourself. I do have the deck list down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for some more deck techs, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.